guys. So first off, just obviously want to thank Guitar Technique so much. Uh, Jason, thank you so much for the amazing track and uh, truly honored to be a part of this, guys. I hope you dig a lick or two out of this and maybe get something. So uh, Slither starts off with a two-bar drum fill, and then there's a couple hits on C sharp, seven sharp, nine, and I just used the top three notes, you know, the Jimi Hendrix chord, Purple Haze. I use these three. Uh, and then... Kind of something I've been doing over the years for a C7 sharp 9 right here instead of playing. But doing a little bend. So. And now the track evolves into this kind of cool F sharp diminished thing, you know. I was uh, kind of working off a hybrid of the half whole scale, diminished scale, uh, if you guys don't know that one. idea so working off of that a hybrid of that with the f sharp blue scale so it kind of came up with a melody uh the track is so cool i mean jason's got so much awesome things happening in the rhythm guitar so i kind of wanted to lay a little low so obviously you know people play that kind of thing for the blue scale i'm sorry i started to think diminished with that so, And then there's just F sharp diminished lick. Repeat the theme up here. With a little embellishment. Keep it a little more interesting. Uh, next fill kind of goes this F sharp diminished dyad, flat five dyad, I should say, uh, to, to G. A G to F sharp. So when I play those runs with hybrid picking, I'm always just thinking if I'm going across three strings, third finger, middle, pick. That's all. So. Cool. You see that? F sharp to G, G to F sharp. So definitely working off of that uh, diminished scale. Definitely the diminished scale. Although this, I'm really kind of thinking the blues scale right here. And then. So I'm just going up to the high A sharp. And now there's a cool stab going C5 to G5. I just kind of picked that up with the hybrid picking, thinking uh, C5 up here, right? Uh, C5 to G5. Come on, Joel, play it right. So you got... And then power chords just going down. C5 to G5, C5 to G5. Can't go wrong when you outline the actual chords behind you, right? <laughs> when all else fails, just play arpeggios to the chords behind you. Uh, now, next section goes A to G, D to F. So I'm thinking... I want a nice melody for this section. It sounded real cool. Jason, again, awesome rhythm parts. Uh, so I just started thinking about thirds. Thirds are a great place to start when it comes to creating melody. So sliding up to the third of A, which is C sharp, going to the third of G, right? Cool. And then D, kind of working right out of that. When it goes to F, it takes me back to A, to G, so the root of G there, D, F. I think the second time that I just take that up an octave, I do an F Lydian lick. Now we're into the solo and, uh, you know, a little bit of the solo, right? <laughs> And then uh, I'm just, he's doing a boogie, basically, E minor, C to D. So uh, I just started out with a E minor pentatonic, great place to start, right? And then a two-step bend. So that kind of takes us more into Dorian, as soon as you introduce that ninth interval, or I suppose uh, Aeolian, because we're thinking C, right? <laughs> 
Now, uh, rather than just coming down, I think that might be a run people are kind of familiar with, pentatonic. So, I just use the flat five instead of the four. So I'm going. So that run. Cool. Now I do a little tapping run here, and I'm thinking definitely just the E minor pentatonic. And uh, what's happening here is I just think pattern three, lose the pick for a second, uh, with my right hand. Pattern three of E minor pentatonic, and my left hand is in pattern one, the one everybody knows, right? So I'm sliding into it by going. So, so I'm thinking of it as groups of five per beat, oddly enough. Um, cool. And sliding up into that bend A, bring it down and go up to B, right? And then uh, it's at that point, it's over the D in the progression. So I just picked up that hybrid pick. So rhythmically, you know, you're thinking the, the three, but then a two. Now I go into a little just two note, like hybrid picking pedal tone lick, uh, picking up, it's basically Dorian, just, uh, right? So right here, I'm getting E as the pedal tone with my middle finger on my right hand. And my run is going from F sharp to E to D. So now you go to the next strings and I'm thinking B is the pedal tone. And I just decided to pick up the blue scale. So now going D to G, G is the pedal tone and I'm getting F sharp, E and D. Now here at D is the pedal tone, I'm going D, B, A. So that run, Cool, now a little, just a little pentatonic lick, you know, kind of ending on the A because it hits the D. Uh, now there's this cool little uh, rhythm there going uh, G, D, G, D, G, D, uh, and I just picked that up. With, what I'm doing there is hybrid picking again. I'm sliding up into the, uh, just taking, basically thinking of a G chord down there, you know, down to the old school, G to D, right? but up here. And I end with a D7 uh, arpeggio. I'm more trouble playing it slow than fast, that's for sure. Uh, so let's see, we have a... Cool. And then a little run, just because the accent is a D there, and then C, E, which I just pick up in six. So I'm uh, trying to bring that out a little stronger. Obviously, six are, you know, most people know like, like that kind of shape, right? But I'm, just, I'm playing it like this to get on parallel strings and have room to finish on that E. So I wanted a strat tone on this kind of, and also the sustainer uh, to get a little bit sustained without a ton of gain for the track. So hence the choice for the, um, for the Jackson PC one. And I just went on the, the rhythm pickup for it. So, uh, and that gives me that 24th fret too. Uh, so from there, you know, it's back into the melody, maybe a couple of the fills that second time around, let's see, there was a, so that's a little diminished run. And then I did a, so if you remember this F sharp, it's just going up a half step each time. Jason had this awesome unison run the second time around. Pretty neat. I picked that up. Uh, and, uh, uh, that was the second time through the, the melody. Uh, you want to go. 
a little quick C, F sharp to a G. Cool. Uh, and let's see, the third time through the melody, the, I, I repeat the first fill. Then I do this uh, F sharp flatted five dyad. Uh, but instead of doing threes with it, we were talking about that third finger middle pick going that type of stuff. This time I go with a four note pattern just to offset the rhythm a little going high, low, middle, low. So. And that's just right out of the blue scale, really. Cool little, I guess, dissonant sounding trick. And then uh, the track just ends again with that C5 to G5. Cool. So hopefully there's something in there for you guys. Uh, just once again, big thanks to Guitar Techniques and, and uh, Jason for having me do this. Uh, I feel really honored and, and kind of intimidated. So hopefully you guys get something out of it and aren't too harsh on me. Uh, so appreciate it very much, guys. Uh, hope to catch you out there. Let's get the world open and start having some concerts again, huh? But in the meantime, I guess let's all just practice our asses off and, and hope to get better. All right. Cheers, guys.